Let's say you need to store a more complex data structure within a single cell in your table. You might not be able to do that with a collection. You might have to move on to something like a user-defined type, affectionately known here as a UDT. UDTs allow you to group related fields of data together that are both named and typed. UDTs can include any supported data types, including other collections and other UDTs. It allows embedding of more complex data within a single column, adding flexibility to your table and to your data model. Let's take a look at some examples here. First, I create the types. Wow, this looks eerily similar to creating a table, huh? Well, anyway, here I am creating an address type, which has street, city, zip, and a set of phone numbers. Set is something we just covered, so it should look familiar. Now all of these fields I created make up a single address. Well, let's imagine that several of our users have the same address. Well, in a relational world, you'd probably have a user's table, you'd have an address table, and then you'd have to join these tables together. Well, in Cassandra's denormalization technique, you would probably want to embed the address in a single cell of the user's table. We also created a second small UDT here where we have full name, that's the name of our UDT, which is made up of a user's first name and their last name. So now what? We created our types. How do we use those in our tables? Well, next you can see our create table definition here on this slide. Notice we used our full name UDT in our name column. Next line down, we created a set collection type with our full name UDT to create a direct reports column. And finally, we used our address UDT in a map collection. UDTs might take a little practice, so why don't you take a little time right now to go try an exercise.